How's it going guys? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I create my lightsaber effect in Adobe Photoshop for toy photography. And if you don't have Adobe Photoshop, not a big deal. I would definitely just recommend going into your app store on your phone and searching for some kind of lightsaber FX app. There are so many of them and they're pretty much all for free uh, and they do great. So I would recommend that if you don't have Adobe Photoshop. So I'm going to go take a shot. Then we're going to go right into it, start editing the lightsaber effect in the photo. So let's go. Okay, so we got our shot here of Luke jumping off the Tauntaun to get the Stormtrooper. He's got his lightsaber out and ready, so let's make it glow and look awesome. So the first thing we need to do to make this lightsaber is go all the way to the right here and click on a new layer. And we can name it something like lightsaber, something like that, because that's where we're going to be drawing our lightsaber. Then we're going to go over to the brush tool. So make sure the hardness on your brush tool is all the way up, we want it to be solid lines. Uh, and then for the size of the brush, try to make sure it matches around the size of the lightsaber blade in the photo. It might be bigger depending on how close the lightsaber is in the photo or how far away it is. And then change it to white, all the way white. We also want to make sure the opacity is all the way up at 100% as well. We want to have a nice hard solid white line. So to get a perfectly straight lightsaber blade we're going to draw one dot on one end of the blade and hold shift then click on the complete other end and we'll get a perfectly straight white line. So if your blade is ever a little bit crooked or you need to fix a couple things you can always go to edit and transform rotate it a little bit or even distort it to make it longer if you have to. So now that we have our nice white line for our lightsaber, we're going to go and duplicate our lightsaber blade. Just like this, duplicate layer. Okay, and then we're actually going to go and do that twice. So we have three separate lightsaber layers. So on the first layer, we're going to go up and add a filter by clicking on filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. So we're going to change the radius of the blur to something around 5 or so. I usually like to do 5. Hit OK. Then we're going to go and do the same thing with the other layers, adding Gaussian blur. So next one, we'll click on Filter. Go to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and this time we're going to change it not to 5, but we're going to do something a little bit higher, more like 25. As you can see, the lightsaber is slowly starting to get a little bit glowy and looking a little bit nice. So for the last layer, we're going to go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, just like before. And this time we're going to go something higher, like 50. So you can't tell too much because it's such a white background. But the lightsaber is starting to just kind of look like a normal white lightsaber. And it looks not too bad. So there's one more step with the layers. We're going to go and create one more brand new layer and we're going to name it black or really whatever you want, but I like to name it black and we're going to bring it all the way down underneath all of the other lightsaber layers. So it's the first one of our new lightsaber layers. So what we're going to do with this layer is actually going to make the whole entire thing a completely black layer. And we're going to merge it in with the other lightsaber layers after, and that's going to help us with blending in the lightsaber once we add some color into it later. So I like to use the paint bucket tool to make it black by hiding the background. Uh, I know there's an easier way to do it, but that's how I like to do it. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight this black layer along with all of the other lightsaber layers right there and layer one and copy two, the other ones that we have, and we're going to merge them all together. So once you have all of your layers highlighted, we're going to click on the three lines and go to Merge Layers. Just like that. Boom. Now all of the lightsaber layers are all one nice, easy layer. So we can't really see Luke and everybody anymore, so we're going to go and change the layer type to Screen 
All right, so the lightsaber is looking pretty good. It's all nice on one layer and everything, but let's add some color to it. So go all the way up to image, adjustments, and then curves right there. So make sure you change RGB to red, or actually blue, sorry. Luke's got a blue lightsaber, but this is where you'd go to change green, red, and other colors too. And kind of just adjust it to your liking. And so, so we start seeing some blue. You can usually get a strong enough color just by adjusting the curves, but if you ever want it to be a little stronger, especially with a white background like this, I like to go to the color balance, you know, adjust those a little bit, turn off the blue and the cyan. Uh, and that should be a little bit more, and sometimes I also will go into just the hue and saturation and just crank up the saturation and make sure that blue color is really strong. And of course, how strong you want the color of the lightsaber is totally up to your preference. And there we go. There's your lightsaber. Actually, uh, doesn't look too bad. Even with the very white, bright background, the blue shows up, I think, just enough. And I'm actually pretty happy with that. Looks pretty good. I also really recommend taking some shots maybe at night or a darker setting with a colored light, kind of like with this LumCube Panel Pro I have here. And just having that light reflecting on the ground from the lightsaber really gives that little bit of extra realism to your photos. And doing the Kylo Ren lightsaber is actually the same exact process as the normal lightsaber, except along with your straight lines, just add in some squigglies in there too, and it works out just fine. <laughs> And of course, for more toy photography, tutorials, stuff like that, I would definitely recommend subscribing for more good content like that. Thanks so much for watching. Hope it was helpful. I'll see you in the next one. This is the Dorothy song. Dorka.